Welcome to another episode of The Bible Says This. What say you? Psalms 33 and verse 4. The A clause says, For the word of the Lord is right. I'm Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. Glad to be talking to you at the upper room, sitting here in the sanctuary all alone talking to you about some things that are near and dear to my heart. Now today, I want to talk to you about child abuse. To abuse something or to abuse a person is to abnormally use that thing or that purpose, that person, to use a thing for which it was not made. It's, we used to call it, uh, over time, it was abnormal use, but the etymology of the word over time, it went from abnormal use to just simply abuse. And in America today, there's a lot of child abuse going on, but PC, political correctness, is uh, protecting these wicked child abusers who should be thrown in jail. Now, look at this. Look at this. We're going to put it on the screen where you can see it. I have in my hands a case of child abuse, if there has ever been one. And uh, look at this. It says, uh, uh, this is a, a mom and a dad, and I use the term loosely, standing with their child. And it says, I love my gender creative son. Have you ever heard that term before? Gender creative. Uh, the dad has a shirt on that says, I stand on the right side of history. Well, we'll see that. Oh, what a silly man. And on the other, uh, there's, a, there's a sign that says, my son wears dresses and makeup. And then the sarcastic, arrogant phrase says, get over it. Get over it. Get over it, mom, dad. The kid won't be able to get over it. The rest of the world, the rest of the children who are being raised properly, who are being raised right, will be just fine. The problem is your child will not be able to get over the abuse. Yes, the abuse that you are perpetrating on the child. Now listen. The Bible says this. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 6, train up a child in the way that it should go, and when uh, he is old, he will not depart from it. Tra train up a child in the way that he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. The Jerusalem Bible says, instruct the child in the way that he should go, and when he grows old, he will not leave it. My friends, parenting is such an important job. Parenting is the most important job that there is. And I'm here today to say that we do not have a child problem. We have a parenting problem. I want to read something to you. Uh, listen to this. The young people of today think of nothing but themselves. They have not reverence for parents or old age. They are impatient of all restraints. They talk as though, they talk as if they know everything and what passes for wisdom for us is foolishness to them. My friends, these words were spoken by none other than Peter the monk in 1274. Back in 1274, they recognized that if parents don't lead the kids, it creates a problem. Well, here we are today in 2017, and we have abusers of children raising kids as though that there is not a norm, as though there is not a way that the child should go. Little boys should be raised to be little boys. And little girls should be raised by their parents to be little girls. The Bible teaches that fathers should not provoke their children to wrath. Dad, you are going to be judged by God Almighty because you, in the name of political correctness and the name of diversity and openness, 
uh, perpetrating uh, uh, abuse on your child. Now, the parents was at a, I guess, a homosexual pride parade. You know, Brother Wooden doesn't call them gay because there's nothing gay. There's nothing happy. There's nothing socially accepted and upbeat about the homosexual lifestyle. And as I have said before, I say again to you Christians out there, preachers and ministers and all who are even on my side and agree with me, when you use the word gay, you are using their words. You are adopting their terms. And, and everybody knows that in a PR battle, he who controls the rhetoric more often than not wins the war. So why are we allowing them to change our nomenclature? Why are we allowing them to dictate the terms that we use? There is nothing happy and upbeat about the homosexual lifestyle. Uh, and if you don't want to use uh, uh, words, you don't want to use words like faggot, if you don't want to go that way, if you don't want to use a despotism, well, whatever you do, don't use a euphemism. How about using biblical terms like abusers of themselves with mankind? How about using biblical terms uh, like abomination? It's a wicked lifestyle. Homosexuality is a lifestyle that is, as I've said many times before, and when I say these things, oh my Lord, people just burn, they get angry, but it is a lifestyle that is anti-human because if all human beings practice this lifestyle, it would mean the extension the extinction of the human race in less than 70 years or so. We, don't, we wouldn't even exist. But look at this. Let me read this to you right quick. Uh, the mom who shared a photo with her son at the Orange County Pride Parade. The Pride Parade. Uh, uh, Philippians chapter 3 and verse 19 says this. Whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is their shame. Now, isn't it, isn't it amazing that they call this pride? That was, a, you know, for people who are thinking uh, perversion is not something to be proud of. Since when have we become proud of a lifestyle that, that incorporates? If words still have meanings, if words still have meanings, you have to practice abusive behavior in order to even participate in the homosexual lifestyle because it is a perversion. It is to abnormally use your, your body in a way that God have not designed it. Two men were not designed to have sex with each other and you have to pervert, you have to abuse yourself to participate in that lifestyle. But nonetheless, they're at this pride parade and at the pride parade in California, out there on the left coast, praise the Lord, left, uh, is speaking out, uh, look at this, to the mother who shared a photo with her son at the Orange County Pride Parade in California is speaking out after actor James Wood. James Wood posted an insensitive tweet about the photo which shows her and her husband holding up signs that read, I love my gender creative son, exclamation point, and my son wears dresses and, uh, and makeup. Get over it. Now, they don't consider these signs insensitive. <laughs> but what James Woods says is insensitive. Man, this is a messed up world. Woods, who is 70, tweeted Monday, uh, this is sweet. Wait until this poor kid grows up, realizes what you've done to him, and stuffs both of you and stuff both of you dismembered into a freezer in, uh, in, the, in the garbage. Now, uh, he's probably referencing old Jeffrey Dahmer. But now let me tell you something. I don't know anything personal about James Woods, so I don't want nobody writing me or calling me about James Woods. Uh, I do like his movies. He's a good actor. Uh, most of them. Uh, I, I don't know anything about, I don't know what his politics are. I don't know anything about James Wood except what I see on the, on the, uh, on, on the, on the screen. But I tell you this, James Woods got it right. You're asking, you're raising a child who is, is going to be messed up in his head because as parents, you are letting the child lead you. That's the problem. Okay, even if the kid 
wants to be gender creative. How about having a grown person in the, in the family, a grown man for a daddy, and a grown woman for a mother to say, uh, Johnny, whatever the kid's name is, uh, Johnny, you can't be gender creative. Kids can't create gender, Johnny. God made sex. God, Johnny, made people male and female. And Johnny or Judy, whatever the kid happens to be, looks like a little boy to me. Uh, Johnny, uh, you, you wear boy clothes because you were made a boy. But no, here's the problem. In this family, Johnny is the leader. Johnny is leading and mom and dad are following and they have the nerve to say, I stand on the right side of history. We'll see. We'll see when Jesus comes. I'm glad to say I, I stand on the biblical side of history. And the Bible teaches that there would be a falling away. And the Bible teaches, oh my God, that people would believe nonsense. And, and this is exactly what's going on when you take God out the equation that's all you have left you have left you have nonsense like this parents standing smiling with their child and I imagine there was a warm left coast audience out there saying yeah 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 and we see this happening uh the actress Charlize Theron Charlize Theron, by the way, she has a new movie coming out. Now she, they, they have the nerve to show on the trailer her kissing a woman. All I can say is this. Uh, I think the name of the movie is Atomic Bomb Blonde or something. I don't know. But listen, if you're going to go see it, don't leave saying, oh, I'm surprised they had lesbianism and she was kissing a woman. Well, they're advertising it. And you know what? I pray that you have more sense than to go see that. But here's what this lady has done. She has adopted a little boy from South Africa. South Africa, her hometown, she adopted the little boy. She's on the screen there in 2017. Now, when she adopted the little boy, he looks like a little boy. Looks like a little boy, a little, little South African black boy uh, adopted him uh, uh, in 2017. Now, this 41-year-old lady, under her leadership, the boy is five years old now. According to BET, this was published, uh, Hollywood's uh, Charlize Theron adopted her son Jackson from her home county, her home uh, country, excuse me, of South Africa back in 2012. But it seems as though the now five-year-old boy is transitioning into a female. How does a five-year-old boy transition into a female? That boy is being raised by a wicked woman, a wicked, dumb blonde who, who should tell the boy that, hey, you're a boy. Look at this. Look at this picture of him. As he, she gets him, she's holding him. He looks like a boy. But under her leadership, under her leadership, now the boy is dressed as a princess. I guess this is, I guess this is ha a Halloween. And he has on a gown. And the little boy has been abused as he walks in slippers. Uh, uh, and, and here's a picture of him now. This little boy in leggings with extensions, braids, it's not his real hair. Braids as she walk the street and show off this little boy. How does a little boy at five years of age transition into a female? Our country is messed up. This is wickedness to the core and as never before we need to say something. And with the little time I have left, as an aside, Half of the adopted children under 18 in the U.S. in U.S. households were adopted, and, and this is a December uh, uh, 2015 numbers were adopted by white. Hi, let me read this: Half of the adopted children under 18 in U.S. households were white, non-Hispanic, according to the, the 2010 census. But 71 percent of the adopted children live with a white parent. Hispanics make up 18% uh, of adopted kids and 16% are black or African American. You know, we don't want people to adopt our children, but we won't adopt. I want to say to the African Americans out there, you who are having trouble having a baby, consider adoption. Pray about it. 
Make sure the little boy don't get into the hands of the Charlize Theron's of this world. The Bible says this. What say you?